New Zealand is best known for its stunning scenery, friendly locals, and of course for being the epic backdrop of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Needless to say, many who visit New Zealand want to find some of the most iconic Lord of the Rings film locations around the country. However, you may be surprised to know that some are found within the middle of New Zealand's capital city, Wellington, and others are just a short drive away. In this video, we're going to explore some of the best film locations accessible in and around Wellington City. We are in Mount Victoria, right in Wellington City, so this is a really accessible site to come if you're trying to find some Lord of the Rings film locations. And there's actually quite a famous one here. It's where the hobbits are hiding underneath the tree and the Nazgul are looking for them. So we're off to find that one. It's a bit of a walk from where we parked, but it's a beautiful day, so we're happy to go for a hike. It doesn't quite look like it used to, apparently. I think the tree has gone. And there's also another one, I think. Um, it looks like it's a scene where the Nazgul are riding down this path with the trees overhanging so I would like to find that one too but these are going to be great ones to find right in the city so let's go for a walk. You've got the city below, wonderful views out to the south, it's just a beautiful day for it as well. So easy to see why they filmed here, but it says here, Lord of the Rings film location. And there's a plaque on this bench and it reads, if I take one more step, it will be the furthest away from home I've ever been, Samwise Ganji. Isn't that beautiful? But, where's the actual path? So I'm pretty sure this is the spot. Looking at Google Map photos, we don't have the beautiful big tree. Um, maybe this, I'm not sure, obviously it's been like 20 years since. Roots, yeah, it's been like 20 years since the film was made. So obviously the landscape has changed. But I'm pretty sure this is where the hobbits were. And then Nazgul came over here. I think I read that the tree had, was destroyed or died, but yeah. How cool is this? <laughs> Frodo? We have found our second location. It's actually a few more than we realized, which is really cool. This is Frodo's reading tree where he was sat just here in the little nook of the tree reading. I'm gonna go sit there. Now, Corey's not 100% sure if this was the actual tree or it's just like it looks similar or was inspired by, but we'll go with it. Okay, so update, I had a little look further on Google Maps and somebody put in the reviews, this is actually where Frodo and Sam had second breakfast in Woody End. So we realized that if you come down to the perspective down there, it looks much better. I think this is where Frodo sat and Sam was down here. So yeah, very, very close to the first location we're at, just down the hill a little bit. Great spot. So the third scene that we are going to in Mount Vic is the Way of Nazgul and this is pretty much it here. There's no real starting point, not like there's no plaque it seems to be, but where you find these a wooden fence, it's kind of all of this path and I think there's like a straight section where the trees meet a little bit, which is what they used in the scene. I think it's where, the, where they were riding down, this kind of looks like it now. But this kind of looks quite similar. You see there's like a bend in the branches, creating the archway. So if you look at the scene, it's quite obvious that this is where they filmed it. We are here at Putangiria Pinnacles. Now this is a very famous film location around Wellington. It's actually about nearly a two hour drive out of Wellington, though the drive is beautiful, so that's all good. But here is where they filmed the famous Paths of the Dead scene and it's really iconic. Once we go in there and show you, you're gonna recognize it. It's a beautiful, interesting, otherworldly landscape. So I'm really excited to go in there. And it's actually a beautiful area. It's people camping here and all of this is hikes, but we are parked here and we're just gonna do this short path up to the pinnacles. So 
and now we are amongst the pinnacles. It is a bit of a walk to get here, all of like this rocky uneven surface and make sure you're wearing some good shoes. But as you can see, it is a really incredible landscape. I'm not sure how far I can go. I think we're gonna go a little bit further just around the corner, see what we can see there. But of course, we'll show you the drone perspective. So as you continue walking up the valley, kind of gets narrower and narrower until you're in situations like this, just small paths. I guess where water have created this path between the pinnacles. Nice and shady though, it's a boiling day today. Um, but if we look that way, you can actually see out to the ocean, to South Island, which is amazing. But this landscape and like ocean, you can, definitely see why this was used in Lord of the Rings. It's such an incredible location and yeah, an amazing place. This place is just full of channels and crevices for you to explore. Just be careful you don't go into any which seem like they might be unstable. Um, it's hard to tell but yeah, just be, be very careful. Bring a really sturdy pair of shoes as well and lots of water if you're out here on a sunny day like today. We are on the south coast of Wellington and we have come to Red Rocks and this is another Lord of the Rings film location here. And this is the one where Frodo, Samwise and Gollum reached the gates of Mordor. Now there wasn't a specific scene that I could find online where they showed you the exact location but I expect these areas here could have very much been used, but it is a nice, beautiful coastal walk. So we're gonna have a little look around, see if we recognize anywhere. It might've been a lot of CGI, but this is a definite film location for the entrance of Mordor. We've been walking for a little while now and looking back, the view is beautiful over towards Wellington but I want to make it to Red Rocks and maybe then we'll stop for a little snack. But we've seen lots of spots and Corey thinks that's where they filmed all the rings and maybe that's where they filmed the scene. We're not sure exactly. Yeah. Could be, I mean, all of this looks like they were scrambling up rocks to look over towards the gates of Mordor. But if you know exactly where it is, let us know in the comments below. Quite a spectacular view behind us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just get better the further you walk, the see more of the coast. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed some of these iconic Lord of the Rings film locations in and around Wellington. We'll be visiting more locations around the country so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and we'll see you soon.